can do reps of 10, which would be easier, or make it a little harder, 15 or 20 reps, or you can do it for time, like doing a minute of each one or, or a minute and a half. So me and Devin are gonna go through this. She's gonna help me along some of the stuff I have a little trouble with. And um, after that, we're gonna do some stand-up stuff. We're gonna do stuff that you can do on your own in your house. And then we're gonna go through uh, a technique also today, jiu-jitsu technique. Maybe you have a partner at home. If not, whatever, just kinda, just kinda keep your mind sharp, okay? So we're gonna start uh, laying our back. We're gonna start with some leg circles, okay? So what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna be doing one foot for, you know, for, for our new people or the kids, we do one foot clockwise and the other foot counterclockwise, right? So again, you can do this for reps, one, one, two, two, three, three, or you could do this for a minute straight, right? Get a little bit of a lower ab workout. After you go one way for your minute, you're gonna reverse and take your feet the other way. So the other foot's gonna go clockwise and the other foot's gonna go counterclockwise, all right? So loosen up your knees, loosen up your hips, go back and forth. Okay, so next we're gonna do some hip ups. So what you're gonna stay laying on your back, don't sit up, no momentum from here. You're just gonna curl up and feet straight up to the ceiling. So try to extend your hips all the way. Again, you could do this 10 reps, 15 reps, 20 reps, or you could do it for time. One minute, you know, if you really wanna try hard, two minutes. But again, try to get that full extension all the way up, toes to the ceiling. All right. Okay, so now we're gonna do the same hip up and we're gonna throw in the triangle move with it. So the only thing different, you're gonna go straight up, uh, feet towards the ceiling, and you're gonna tuck one ankle behind one knee. So again, 10 on one side, 10 on the other, or 30 seconds on one side, 30 seconds on the other. So the same thing, up and tuck behind your knee. All right, up and tuck behind your knee. Good. Do you need to do both sides? I can't do the other side. Okay. You only need one. Only need one side. <laughs> Try and keep on both sides. Okay, so we're going to do some uh, in-place shrimps. Okay, so what we're going to do here, instead of going up and down, maybe you don't have room to do it, one leg's going to come up. The other leg is going to float off the ground. You're going to keep it straight. You're going to turn towards that straight leg, hips up. And you're going to pull as far as you can in. Then you're going to pull back. Then you go other leg, straight, in, pull in, and back. Just getting up on the tip of your shoulder, make your hips light, pull your hips back, pull them back in. Again, 10 on each side, or you could do it for a minute. All right, bridge and looks. So let's try to do these right. I don't do them very good. Athena does, does them well. You want to get your heels as close to your butt as possible. And when you do them, get up on your toes and thrust your hips up as high as you can. And then reach to a side as far as you can. That's it. So one. There you go. Side to side. Just get up on your toes. And the tip of your shoulders. Hips as high as you can. Good. You know, so there's a good chance, you know, at home to practice some of the moves that we do in here a lot and sometimes you know we all get sloppy with it people are on their heels so there's a chance just to, to sharpen up some of that stuff okay so now we're going to do some back rolls and forward rolls again if you don't have the room to go up and down a mat we're just going to kind of do them in place so with the back roll you don't want to go over your head you want to go over your shoulder keep your neck out of it so you're going to go over the shoulder and then you're going to go back over on the other shoulder okay both sides, one side, then back over on the other shoulder, then the other side, back over on the other shoulder. Let's do it one more time. Shoulder, so your, your head's not touching the mat. That way, if somebody's big on you, stacking you, you're not going to get your, your neck hurt. Okay, so now we're going to do some Kimura drills. So we're going to start just like we're doing a Kimura. So you're going to start in the guard, right? You're going to pin one hand, you're going to open your legs. Shrimp away from the hand that's pinned. You're gonna get up on your elbow. You're gonna touch your wrist, okay? Then you're gonna shrimp back inside, close your guard. Then other side, you're gonna pin, open, shrimp away, up on the elbow, 
touch your hand. Shrimp back inside, close your guard, right? Pin a hand, foot on the floor, shrimp away from that hand, up on your elbow, touch your wrist. Then look, using your toes on the mat, you shrimp back inside. Pin a hand, shrimp away, up on your elbow, reach over, touch your wrist. Again, you could do 10 a side of these, or you could do a minute of these. All right, sit throughs. I'm not too good at sit throughs. <laughs> So hands and knees, you're gonna, what you're gonna do is on one side, you're gonna post your hand and lift your foot, and then you're gonna sit through to your hip, and then you're gonna pull back and go back to your hands and knees. And then you can go on the other side. That's it. These can be pretty, pretty hard to do for a minute. If you can do it, that's great. You know, otherwise, 10 aside. So in here we do a lot of stuff that re requires our core, requires us to get in a ball. So we want to do stuff that works some other muscles and reverses it. So we're going to do our supermen. And I don't do that so good. So we have Davina. She's going to lay down, arms out in front. And then from here, she's just going to bring up her hands and her leg, the body straight. And again, you could do this a couple ways. You could do a set of 10. Or you could do this for a minute straight. Or you could just hold the up position for a minute straight. So progressively harder ways to do this. Again, we want to work all that back stuff. It doesn't get worked as much in here as we do all that. We're always like, we're always pushing forward into a ball. All right. So now we're going to work on our technical stand-up. Okay, so technical stand-up, what you're going to do is you're going to post a foot and a hand on opposite sides. Okay, from there, you're going to use those posts to make your hips light. Okay, so I get my hips off the ground. The, the free hand is going to go out in front. The free leg is going to be straight out in front. From there, you're going to pull that free leg backwards, stand up, and get to your feet. Okay, and you're going to go back down. You can do the other side, which I can't do. Davina can do it, of course. That's it. So remember, use those posts to make your hips light. Bring them high off the ground. Pull that leg back, step, and then stand up, stepping backwards. Yeah, so if you're doing a lot of those for a minute each, that'd be a pretty decent workout. Yeah. We're just doing very short, maybe 15 seconds or so. Okay, so I um, also want to work our necks, right? So here, again, you can do a minute. Neck, you know, 10 reps of neck is not going to be much, so maybe you want to do like a, a 100 reps of each one. So what you're going to do first one, you're just going to go chin to chest. You're going to bring your head. You don't want to rest it on the floor. You just want to just touch the back of your head to the floor and bring your chin all the way to your chest. All right, so don't do a little short motion. Try to do a full chin to chest. And again, do 100 there. After 100, if you can go to the next one without resting, it'd be great. If not, take a little rest. And then we're going to go side to side. Okay, so now you're just going to bring your head just off of the mat, not, not flexed up, but just off of the mat. And you're going to go one side, other side. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, so you get to 100 on those. Okay, so that was a lot of uh, a neck forward. So to, to balance it out, we're gonna have to do the back. So what I like to do is just get on my hands and knees and I'll just drop my head down and look up as high as I can and do, do 100 of those. You know, try not to hyper extend your neck. You just need to bring it up basically to neutral all the way down. And in jiu-jitsu, we tend to get really strong up front. A lot of the back stuff doesn't get worked as well. You have partners, you can also push on the back of the neck. Yeah, oh yeah. If you got partners, you know, you can you can go every direction, right? You can have somebody push it on the back so you don't have to do quite as high repetitions, get a little more force. You could also go side to side. So you push it on the side, right? You go ear to shoulder, ear to shoulder, and the other side, ear to shoulder your shoulder and then you can you know do the front too have somebody push on the front of your head oh by the way yeah front's up here 
<laughs> okay, so uh, is that all the stuff we wanted to do? Yeah, it is. Okay, so look, we're gonna go into some some standing stuff, and then we're gonna go into a uh, jujitsu technique. So the standing stuff, I assume you don't probably don't have somebody at home to do this on, you know. So we're gonna do some stuff you can do on your own. Okay, so again, just to Get your technique better. So what we're going to start with is a, a little foot sweep drill. So get your foot sweeps better. So with a foot sweep, from Bardavina, what we're going to do. So I'm going to go. I'm going to go left. So my left hand is on her collar, and my right hand is going to be on her sleeve. Okay. So the motion I'm doing with my hands is going to be a wheeling motion. Okay. So I'm tucking this elbow in and I'm bending her body down over with the other hand. So I'm doing this, right? This, like you're steering a car. Now the same side that I'm doing the hand, I'm also bringing my foot in, right? So in a foot sweep, we would be moving the same direction and I would be kicking, kicking her feet into each other. That's different from a trip, right? A trip, we would be moving and I would stop her foot and pull her over it. Okay, so you want, kind of want to distinguish between, between those two. So again, left hand collar, you can do this on your own, right hand on the sleeve. So now your left hand is going to step, and as you do that circling motion, your right foot, you're going to bring it up, you're going to put your toe on the ground, toe pointed, leg straight, and you're going to, you're going to actually drag that toe on the ground till right when you get where their foot would be right here, then you're going to go to the pinky of your toe. Right? So you're going to do this. All right? So the one thing I see sometimes people in here doing is they do this, they hook. So you don't want to hook, it gets rid of your power, right? You just want to sweep, sweep in a wheel. And you do that side and the other side, you're gonna go right collar, left sleeve, you're gonna step with the right, you're gonna sweep with the left. All right, step, turn, and sweep. Again, we can work, you know, you can work on these little details at home that maybe sometimes we get we get a little lazy with. When we're here at the gym. Okay. Um, do you want to do the Fuluchi on the wall? Yeah. Can we get that on the wall or should we? Um, yeah. Or you could do it, I could do it on you here and make it go against the wall. Okay, that'd be fine. Do you need my DM? Yeah. Okay. Okay, we're going to practice uh, the Ouchi. And again, if you don't have a partner, you can just do this up against up against the wall. Okay. Okay. If I'm right, I'm going to be gripping you. Right on the lapel here, left at the wrist here. Okay. So the step for Uchi, right foot in, left foot comes behind it, and then I'm going to sweep to the right. Okay. And as I hook. You drag your toes, hook the leg, and you look over the right shoulder. Okay? Right foot, left hook. Okay? Now, as we do each ukomis, what you want to do is you want to get the rhythm of it. It's just that they're called fit in. So you actually just want the rhythm. So when you're in for, you don't actually move. You just get the hip movement, and you get the rhythm. Okay? Left side. I'm a lefty. I like going over. You could also do an overhead grip. Okay. So left side, how I do it. Left foot right behind it. Drag here. And as I come here, I'm going to go over the shoulder here to break more of this balance. Left, right behind it. Hook. Okay. Make sure you stay on your toes. Okay. 
There you go. That's both sides. Okay, guys, when you do those, like she was saying, you step in for those, make sure you're on your toes, both feet. When this back leg comes in, make sure it's bent because that's the leg you're going to be using power for. So if you're straight leg, you're going to lack some power. So, you know, sometimes people go foot and then they go dead on that foot with the leg straight. And then you're going to not have the power to push off of that leg. So make sure you're toe, toe, leg bent, so you have power to sweep. Um, okay, so I wanted to do this Uchimata drill, which I'm not very good at. No, it's a solo drill, you know, the one where you do the, the kick. Uh -huh. I always fall over doing this, but. So for the Uchimata, same setup, right? Toe, toe, bent. But this time, after you go toe and toe, you're gonna, so I'm going right foot first, then left. You're gonna bring down your right hand and you're gonna kick up your right leg and then back down and try to stay on your left toe. So hope I don't land on my face, right? So you're gonna go one, two, kick, and back down, and then back in. One, two, kick, and back down, back in. One, two, kick, and back down. If you have trouble with the balance, you can also do it up against the wall. Keep your hand on the wall, and that can help balance you while you do the kick. So again, 10 of those are for a minute. Those can be pretty tiring. I can show the left side. Sure, sure. Because I'm a lefty. You want to do it uh, free? Yeah. Okay. So again, with Uchimata, with everything, the setup is the same, right? You come in. This is your driving leg. This is where you get the power from, okay? Cool, so we're gonna finish up with a, uh, a technique. Again, you know, you may not have a partner at home or another gi to put it on them, but just to keep your, your mind spinning with this whole thing, uh, uh, as Tack Davina likes to do, so we're gonna do a, a clock choke. So I'll let her explain this for when the person you're attacking is in turtle position, be a good angle straight ahead or to the side? Um, we'll do let's both. See, we'll do both. We'll do both. Okay. So usually when they come, when they go to their knees, they ball up pretty good. It's hard to get anything in here. But immediately you want to come in, get your get your weight against them, and reach your hand in deep, deep in the collar, all the way through. You could explain it as I do it. Okay. Yeah. So so that's thumb in. She's thumb in with a deep grip on the collar. Some of these collar grips are not as deep as others. This one's a very deep collar grip. And her, so she has her left hand in my collar. Her right hand is gonna grab my leg. This is really important, you guys. The outside of the knee, okay? Really important. Make now, sure you grab that tight. Now, some people will grab over the body to the forearm, right? Now, if you see how far over her, my body she has to get to do that, it's very easy for me to roll her. And although there's things you can do from there, she can do from there too. To be safe with this technique, and myself too, because I'm kind of short-limbed, I like to grab the leg on the outside to, to hold on to the guy. So grab. Here. Then for the clock choke, I'm going to come around and sit my hips all the way down and pull up. Okay? It's really tight. you got to sink your hips down and bring your leg all the way forward. Should we go sideways? Yeah. Okay, coming over. Here. Arm comes in. You could do it at the same time as you grab the leg, because that will help so that they don't turn you over or they don't kind of bring you back in a guard. Kind of helps keep this position, okay? Really deep, okay? And as you come here, post with your left leg and bring your hips all the way forward, okay? It's really tight, choke. Okay, one more. Where you want the sideways? Yeah, like right here. Okay, I like to immediately grab on that leg so he doesn't roll me. Deep, toes, sit all the way forward. All right guys, well, I hope that was helpful. You know, just do what you can do at home so that when you come back, hopefully May, what, 3rd? Yeah, May 3rd so May far. May 3rd. That you know you don't you don't get you know too less sharp or you kind of keep your condition that's it's easier to make a comeback. All right, so we might we might see you guys for more of these videos in the next couple, upcoming weeks, and hopefully we'll see you May third. All right, you guys. got you got you got Flo watching. Flo, no <laughs> way. You got you got Christy watching. Christy, how was my counting? She complimented my counting last time. <laughs>
<laughs> thanks, guys. All right, thanks, guys.